20 sec tech back again with another video this one's a little different guys um i feel like i should just kind of change it up a little bit here and there so i don't you know uh drive myself crazy mm. if you haven't noticed this video isn't going to be 20 seconds but hey i mean yeah, free, free entertainment right so my thought process is uh, i looked up this website called writing exercises it would generate me random like things and random objects or random plots or storylines or um, random words and um, figured I'd, I'd comment on it or like uh, say the first thing that comes to mind so yeah hope you guys like this video uh, let's just jump right into it let's see uh, let's see which one should we get so oh children's section mm, let's not do that because you know I'm not a child anymore uh, let's do a let's do a what if scenario all right, so you see here that uh, I picked random scenario. This writing prompt creates a what if scenario for you to write about. So instead of writing about it, I kind of just want to talk about it. So let's let's see what we get, guys. Generate scenario. One morning, you wake up unable to recognize your surroundings or the people you are living with. Write about what happens from the moment you wake up. Ooh. See, the first thing that I would do is is, uh, if I ever wake up and I don't recognize anything, I'll probably go back to sleep because I'm probably dreaming, right? Um, you know, my alarm clock doesn't really go off, and I, you know, I'm sometimes late. Uh, next one, next. You are forging someone's signature, but it's for a good reason. What is that reason? Hmm, is it a good reason for me? Let's see. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is forging Michael Jordan's signature. He doesn't give that out often, you know, and his signature is probably worth a lot of money. Um, so it's a good reason um you know it makes me a bit of money you know he doesn't really get hurt i don't think yeah. michael jordan final answer next you're a private investigator taking photos of someone who spots what you are doing what happens next Ooh, i probably just pretend I'm, I'm tmz and just pretend that uh i'll have a mistaken as a as a as someone famous and i'll be like oh you're not him oh never mind that I don't, don't talk to me you know uh Next one. You have found an animal that looks like no other on Earth. What do you do with it? Uh, you know that's a that's a really good that's a really good question. Yeah, the first thing I'll do is take a selfie with it because it's never been seen before on Earth. You know how much that would make. Second thing I would do is probably just like let it go, um, because you know there's a reason why it's never been seen. You know how many cameras there are nowadays, and there's cameras on your phones and everywhere. So, um. There's a reason why it's hiding from people. Yeah, let's just leave it alone. Next. You are at the reading of a will of a family member. Everyone thought she was poor, but it turns out she's worth millions. How did she get so rich? She got rich because she didn't tell anyone. Duh. Next. So, so this scenario, um, it pretty much sums up if your friend uh, is staying with you and he doesn't want to leave or he overstayed his welcome, what would you do? I'll probably go to spirits and buy some costume. Probably probably a jack-o'-lantern. That's that's pretty scary, right? And then in the middle of the night when he's asleep, I'll probably like sneak up next to his bed or couch or wherever he's sleeping and, and just like... Yeah, he'd probably be scared and, you know, and then he, and the next morning he's going to he's gonna text me and say, your, your house is haunted and I'll be like, oh, you're silly. Or I could make up random ghost stories about the place. So, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. That's a good question. I'll keep that in mind. Next. You have a chance to go forward one year in time. What has changed in the world? Hmm. Well, I'm hoping that the, the new Avengers movie comes out next year. Um, I haven't really caught up with it, but I really want to know what Thanos does. Um, you know. Uh... Hope the iPhone changes. Hope it doesn't have a notch anymore. Something about it. Ugh, I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, this, is, this is a good question. Next. Uh, too long to read. Uh, and the police shoot an innocent person. Uh, it always happens like that. Um, just watch the news. You'll probably find out anyway. So this, I don't really want to comment on this. You know, it gets too political. Next. You're a ghost looking for a new home in your neighborhood. Where would you choose? If I was a ghost looking for a new home, where would I choose? 
you know, ghosts, the ghosts is kind of scary, you know, it's, they're probably always looking, they're probably looking at me, right, oh, let's, let's just, let's just skip this, ooh, this is, I feel so, I feel creeped out already, ooh, spooky spook. A friend from college contacts you and two others for a reunion. What dubious motives might he or she have for doing this? Okay, first of all, uh, this is assuming I have friends after college. Uh, let's just let's just be real. Um, but if this were to actually happen, the first thing I would think of is, you know, they're probably trying to sell me something, and I'm not buying it, you know, because because you know I, I don't want them to be more successful than me. Yep, that's probably it. Next, you bought an old chest of drawers and discover a piece of paper stuck inside. What is written on that piece of paper? Hmm. I don't know. Probably a probably a grocery list uh, to Walmart because you know uh, Walmart's hella good, hella cheap stuff there. Uh, a lot of good juices, you know. It's probably a grocery list. That's what I think. Every day at the station, you see someone you're attracted to. How would you go about getting yourself noticed? I mean, if you if you're at a station, you know, and and you know, they're just trying to get to work or something, you know, just just let them go to work. Just leave them alone, man. Just you know, let them let them let them just go to work or go to wherever they need to go, because you don't want to be that creepy dude. Uh, just yeah, you just just go about with your day, you know. There's other places, there's other times and places for for you to get noticed, you know. Just uh, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. You are blindfolded and being led through the woods. Describe what you can hear, smell, feel, and taste. Ooh. If I'm blindfolded going through the woods, I hope to smell some 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 McDonald fries because all Walmarts have McDonald's now and you know, I really need to go to Walmart and get some juice and uh, you know, so so what I hear is the cash registers of probably the the Walmart employees yelling at someone. Um what I feel is, is, are those great value deals? Wow, I could feel my pocket getting heavier because of all the savings I'm having. What I taste, I taste great French fries. Oh, so, so this this is an interesting scenario. So this scenario, you're pretty much saying, if your friend tells you to put on the lottery and and then um, he wins money or she wins money, how much are you asking for to the trip to the shop? You know, first of all, you, you're, it's your friend, you know, it's your friend, right? I mean, and, and he wins a million dollars, you know, you just, ask, you know, just be a good friend and just drive him to the shop. Like that, that's, 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 that's what we're all missing, you know, just, just being there just because he has more money now doesn't give you an excuse to, to, to ask for money now, you know, have you asked for money before, you know, and he, if he's a good friend, you know, he, he might treat you here and there, but don't expect him to give you that money because, you know, that's his money duh you wake up in the night and turn on the lights but it's not working what are the possible reasons for this Um, you haven't programmed your alexa app or your google app Um, maybe you should reprogram that first thing you should do is grab your phone and configure that and if not if you don't have one of those then you probably get a candle next to your bed problem solved next scenario you're going to be invisible for the next three hours. How would you make the most of this time? You know, this is an interesting scenario because uh, I'm in my daily life. I'm pretty much invisible anyway, so um, you know, I probably just go about with my day. Uh, you know, no, no, no one really notices me. So um, this does not really, it's not really a scenario. It's real life. So um, next, next scenario. How would you go about faking your own death? Where would you go afterwards? Hmm. How would I fake my own death? Uh. If I were to fake my own death, then. You know, let's just do the next scenario. This is too. This is too deep. I, but I probably go to Walmart afterwards because I gotta buy some juice. Next question. You're in prison and your partner is visiting for the first time. Write the conversation you have. What kind of partner are we talking about? Are we talking about like life partner? Are we talking about colleagues? Um, are we talking about business partners? What what kind of partner are we talking about here? 
you know, that, that conversation could be anything, right? If it's business, then, oh, how are the stocks, you know? Well, assuming that I have stocks. Um, if it's my, 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 uh, my, my uh, life partner, it'd be like, hey, um, did you go to Walmart and get my juice? Um, yeah, so this, this is this weird scenario. Next. A small child has gone missing on a rundown housing estate. You know what? That, that, this is weird too. I'm gonna go to the next one. Um, you probably find that child. Uh, make some wanted posters or something. It's the night before your wedding, and you finally admit to yourself that you don't love the person you are about to marry. Right about what happens next. Ooh. I mean, have you guys ever watched uh, Friends? Uh, yeah, that that's kind of a. I mean that kind of sums up everything, right? You, you kind of just try to save your marriage, but I mean if you if you call her Rachel, then ooh, you, you should probably you should probably leave. Uh, so yeah, uh, that pretty much sums it up. Um, that was longer than I thought. Definitely more than twenty seconds for sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't know how people do this for so long. I, th this is this is tiring. Um, you know, uh, just just talking about it. All those scenarios got me thinking too much. I just, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Woo. Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe. Uh, buy, buy my merch. Um, the merch is coming, maybe, um, or not. And uh, subscribe for more tech videos. Uh, and if you guys are wondering, this is tech. Um, you could see here in my name that it says uh, tech. If you guys haven't watched it yet, please watch my old videos. Um, this one is a this one's a blast. I, I worked at least three hours on this. Um, wait, why does it say 21 seconds?